Hello, Keith Drucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Well guys, this last week I had the opportunity to run down to Florida. I was down there on actually some business and made a little stop by my buddy Jim Bollinger's place over at Do Right Fab. And uh, Jim and I have been kind of in cahoots with one another for a little while working on a little collaborative project uh, that we're going to be showing off coming up here pretty soon at Fabtech. And it's all kind of around this little steam engine right here. So to kind of give you a little bit of a backstory here, uh, a while back I met up with Jim. This is a steam engine, a little model steam engine that I've had for so quite some time that I picked up somewhere along the way. And um, yeah, it, it ran, but it was, uh, it, it needed a little bit of help. It needed a little bit of work. Jim took this home with it. Uh, he kind of took it apart, went through it. He uh, has recorded a series of videos on this. I'm not sure if they've all posted online yet or not, but uh, he will have some videos going through this and doing some, some repair work and whatever. This is a model. We, I don't know really the story on it. It was obviously a kit that was put together by somebody uh, along the way, and uh, they did a okay job with it. It's not the finest uh, steam engine I've ever seen, but uh, it had a few little issues and Jim kind of took care of some of that back when I was sick and had the shingles. And uh, now basically we pass it over to me and I'm gonna be doing some, some uh, more work to this, getting it ready for Fabtech here in a couple of weeks. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna cut over to a video that we actually shot down at Jim's shop last week uh, talking about the next steps that I'm going to be working on on this, uh, probably coming up this uh, week, week and a half, this coming weekend, getting it ready because Fabtech's right around the corner, and also some information on the upcoming Fabtech event. So let's go down to Jim's uh, shop down in Florida. <laughs> well, well, hello everybody. Welcome back this afternoon in the shop. Uh, you'll see that now that we've got the steam engine all put back together, my friend Keith Rucker from Vintage Machinery uh, came down to pick it up and he's going to continue the project. Uh, you want to tell him about it, Keith? Yeah, so as soon as Jim finishes all the work, I show up. Is that right? Yeah, I got it all <laughs> put back together for him. and. Uh, now he's going to take it and, and uh, tell him what you're going to do. Yeah. So next step for me is is uh, we're going to I'm actually going to take it partially back apart, uh, check his work. No, uh, I'm building a new base for this. So this is the base that came with the steam engine when I got it, and honestly, it's just kind of shady. I don't like it. It's, it's, shady is an understatement. It's it's not good quality. It, it looks like junk. So anyway do away with it. I think we're going to do a nice wooden base on here, polish it up real nice. I also want to kind of lift it up. If you notice the flywheel kind of goes up under the surface of the of the table and while that's kind of cool I think what I'm going to actually do is put some riser blocks up on here and kind of raise it up so that this clears up under the bottom and just make it a little bit more presentable and uh, there are a few little uh, shall we say issues that I need to take care of in here. Jim has kind of told me some things that aren't quite right that I'm going to try to address when I get back home. I need to make sure it's timed properly uh, with the, the valves, uh, which is a pretty straightforward thing. I may try to shoot a little video on that because uh, people might want to see how you time a steam engine. Sure. Yeah. And so we're getting all this together for an event that we're both going to be at, um, Fabtech this year, uh, Fabtech 2018. Uh, you want to tell them what it is? Yes, in November, right? <laughs> it's in November, not no. February. <laughs> I, I posted on my video today it was in February, but it's really in November, not February. February, uh, what's the date? Six through eight? Six through eight. Six through eight. In Atlanta, the, Georgia. Uh, World Congress Center. And we are going to both be there. We're going to be a, a, with our friends at the Osborne booth. We're going to both be spending a little time there. We'll uh, hopefully, uh, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, we'll have the steam engine there running. Yep. Everybody can come check it out, take some pictures of it, talk to Keith and I about it. Yep. Uh, we're really excited about it. I'm real excited. This will be my first time I've ever been to Fabtech. Oh, uh, it's a lot of fun. I've never been to the Fabtech in Atlanta. I've been to the one in Chicago. That so you go to good. the one that's farthest away instead yeah. of the one that's closest. Oh, that it's, makes sense. It's a vacation. <laughs> get to do you what go. you want, right? So, <laughs> so also on display there, we're going to bring uh, Fat Albert, my cannon. We're going to put the cannon on display. Let everybody mm -hmm. take a look at that. And uh, no, we're not going to shoot it inside the Advent, Advent Center there, and we're not going to shoot golf balls. But uh, we, can, we can show some video of that. I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> No, you think you're, <laughs> no, I'm not going to. All I got to say is, is just do it while I'm on lunch. So plausible deniability. I really don't care if you shoot it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool cannon. If you haven't seen that, he did an amazing job on it and it is fully functional. It will actually shoot a golf ball or about a mile. Yeah. 
I can't. I have not found a golf ball yet. I was about to say, did you verify that? Did you go find it? You got a GPS tracker on the golf ball? No. So when when we did the first cannon shoot with Jimmy Diresta up at John Saunders' right. place up in Ohio, we were shooting across an 880 yard field, right. and it was a freshly plowed field, and we kept shooting the the golf balls. And everybody in the crowd was watching for the ball splash, and we never could find a ball splash when it would hit the dirt. And then we walked it, and we couldn't find any of them, so we know we were shooting over, or maybe we were shooting like really hard right or really hard left, but we never were able to find it. And since then here, I've never been able to find a golf ball. And nobody reported any broken windows. Nope. Good. <laughs> <clears throat> it's plausible deniability. <laughs> But anyway, I am looking very forward to getting up to FabTech. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope that, I, well, I know a lot of you guys that are viewers uh, go to this event every year, and I'm looking forward to getting a chance to meet folks, shake their hand, chat with them. Uh, that's one of the things I really enjoy when I get to go to, off to these different events is just uh, meeting different people and, and, you know, putting faces with names. I'll forget your name. I won't lie to you, but uh, at least, but I will remember your face. That's one thing I'm good about. Good about that. We're good about faces. Bad but, about uh, names. But, uh, but anyway, I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, we, like I said, Jim and I will both be in the Osborne booth. So if you're looking for us at Fabtech, uh, look for Osborne, uh, and, and that's where we will be. And yep. at least we'll probably we'll probably be, be touring around as well. But we'll you know, be we'll, in and out of the booth. We'll be in and out. The whole we'll entire show will be there a little bit each day, spending time uh, talking with our friends there. So be sure to come by and check it check it out. Stop by the Osborne booth. Say hi. Let everybody know you saw it on YouTube. And uh, I think we're I think we got it about wrapped up. I think we got it about wrapped up. Looking forward to getting this Joker running and let folks see a steam engine run. So everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks, guys. See you later.